Residents of Sydenham, Durban are fed up with an ongoing turf war, putting their lives at risk. In the past week, bullets struck several flats during a gang shootings while a school pupil was wounded in a separate incident. ENCA senior reporter Desen Tathia visited the area. The recent shootings in the Sydenham area are continuing. Just in this past week, a school pupil was shot and there were a number of flats that were struck by bullets this weekend alone. The residents here say that they've had enough because they are living in fear while a gang war persists. I'm going to bring in one of those residents now. Lindsay Saunders, thanks so much for joining me. I think I'll just start by remarking that we're standing next to a playground, but it looks abandoned. Is this, does that speak to the, the, the kind of environment that we are in where children are not even able to use the space? Yes, basically kids can't even use the place because we have a problem where the boys decide they want to come down the passage and come and shoot at the building and the first place that the hitting is the kids in the park so the kids can't come and play in the park and your fears are not unfounded because we've had now in the past week the reports of that school pupil mm -hmm. being shot and others complaining that bullets are coming into their windows. homes but this is not new no this is a ongoing battle for many 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 years it's just happens that this week seems to be the worst one out of all of them that I've been or I've noticed. So yeah, for me this one is chaotic because I can't even go out anymore. And, and that's where I was going with this. What does that mean for you? You're a mother, you have uh, your mother also that, that, that lives with you. I mean, there are a lot of uh, elderly people, there are young people, all of these people at high risk that live here. What is everyday life like? So everyday life for these people here is very, very difficult. There's a non-profit organization running in the building that feeds the pensioners on a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Saturday. And for the last couple of days they couldn't do that because every time they open up for bread and milk, they're getting shot at. So our pensioners in the building, they can't move. We can't even help them for resources. There's been a conversation, I've seen it now, among residents saying that they're sick of this. They, they want to do something. I heard talks of a march and, and other things. What do you think is the solution if there is one? At the heart of it is gang violence. Am I correct? Okay, so yes, at the heart of it is gang violence, but the problem comes in where everybody in these residents don't want to talk because at the end of the day, they're going to get shot at, they're going to get killed if they say anything because they feel like they're not being protected by the police services or any other services for that matter. So they're not going to do anything. However, what I'm trying to say to them is, if you're going to sit back in your homes, it's going to continue for another 20 years. Come out, come and deal with your children, because at the end of the day, this is your children that is busy killing other people's children. It is your sons, it is your brothers. Come out so that we can have this conversation, so that we can sort out what is going on, so that we can get back to living in peace. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. You're Lindsay Saunders, they're one of uh, the residents, residents. And the call is clear here. Other residents are sharing that sentiment that they definitely do want something done. There have been suggestions like bringing in police officers from other parts of the country, for example, to be stationed here, as well as improving the communication between the community and police. I'm Desen Tathia in Sydney, Durban.